Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott, and this is dedicated to all those spirits out there who believe life is meant to be magical and fun. Here we venture to share the very mysteries of self and reality. My purpose is to help light that spark inside of you, to reawaken your sense of fascination and awe towards the world. I'm going to try to help you hack reality and unleash your potential and open unlimited possibilities of wealth, health, and relationships in your life. Welcome, fellow reality creators. I'm delighted that you get to join me today on the Wave of Fortune Meditation. For it's our very purpose to surf as far as we can on a wave of fortune. And the intention of this meditation is to take advantage of the unique knowledge that we have gained from previous episodes of the Reality Revolution to create a meditation that will change and transform the way that we react and move in this world and the realities that we choose. Once we lock into a wave of fortune, Incredible things can open up for us, wonderful opportunities, great events, and a string of great luck. It's very much like when you wake up in the morning and you stub your toe, and then next thing you know you're bumping your head, and then you have a flat tire, and a window is broken in your house. A string of bad things happen in a day. I know you've experienced this because we all have, and all of this can be traced back to your initial response when a bad thing happens at the beginning of the day. So you stub your toe and you radiate outward in a wave, a feeling of anger, disgust, despair, hopelessness, and then this wave pulls back and pulls you onto a frequency where you start to see these things in reality and if you step back and become aware of the way that reality moves in waves we can create a wave of fortune by modifying and becoming aware and changing our reactions to events and creating joyous reactions that lead to a cascade like a snowball going downhill, increasing in joy and pleasure and fortune. And that is the intention of this meditation to use this concept and to propel every one of you listening onto a wave of fortune. So I just want you to sit back and relax. Do not listen to this program while driving or operating machinery. You can probably get away with it, but it's better to be safe for me to legally say. And if you suffer from epilepsy or if you're in doubt, consult your doctor. And during this experience, it's best to sit or lie down in a place where you can comfortably ignore the outside world. For this is more than a meditation or hypnosis, this is a mind programming process. And it is not the same as sleep. There will be changes in the way that you think and react. The experience, well, it's very much like daydreaming. Let the words and the music wash over you. You may find you don't remember all of it consciously afterwards, but that's okay. I am working on your subconscious mind to alter and change your reaction and to create positive thoughts that you radiate outwards to make an automatic response and action that creates a wave of fortune. Make yourself comfortable now. 
close your eyes as soon as you wish. If you awaken at any time, you'll be fully alert and you can come back to this meditation and go instantly to the point that you stopped at whatever level of deep consciousness that you reach. Cleanse unwanted disruptions. For right now, everything in your life will improve more and more. Every second of every moment, like a wave. But for now, you can just let go. You are listening to this for a reason. And as you hear my words and become aware of certain sensations that allow you to relax more deeply, at the end of this process, you will awaken with inner calm and invigoration with a sense of deep refreshment. For now, notice your breathing. The gentle rise and fall that happens all by itself. Close your eyes as soon as you wish. Pay attention to your breathing. Gently breathe in as you focus your attention on your breathing. Now, my voice will go with you as you relax. in this moment right now. You notice the fabric of the clothes that wrap your body. You can notice your pulse and the beating of your heart. As you allow yourself to become more and more absorbed Start counting backwards from 300. 299. That's right. It does not matter if you get lost or leave a bit out or forget. Just start again at about the same place. Notice that you don't notice when you lose your place and drift off. Only when you return momentarily before becoming more absorbed. So as long as that part of your mind is active, it is fine that it counts when it doesn't, that it doesn't count. You don't need to listen to this consciously. Your unconscious will hear all that it needs to hear. I would like you to notice where you feel the most comfort in your body. Drop your shoulders and relax even more with each out breath. As your shoulders drop, let that easing run down your arms, down your body. Let it even go. 
go into your legs. Let that comfortable feeling run all the way to your feet. You can notice words. Notice noticing words. And you can notice noticing your body can relax. Your mind can relax. Your mind has become very sensitive to my suggestions that help you most. Your breathing carries on all by itself. Your mind carries on thinking all by itself. You can just watch it wander away because your experience and you understand the awareness can just attach and slow down. Some people really like to relax. Sometimes it's good to imagine a warm and sunny place with beautiful clear skies, relaxing sounds of the ebb and flow of waves in the distance and the refreshing breeze, sunshine glinting off the ocean. When you think about the rich, anchored feeling of comfort you get, imagine taking that great feeling deep inside now into every area of your life. Right now, imagine waking up every moment with a feeling of joy, as if the moment of awakening is a joyful occurrence that's imbued with a happy occurrence of luck and you radiate out your expectation of a wave of fortune showing deep gratitude and joy radiating it outwards. And upon the moment of awakening, you will look for something that is a reminder of something joyful and let it radiate outwards, projecting your reality outwards with joy, satisfaction, and happiness. See what you will see and hear what you will hear and feel How good it feels, feeling lucky and joyful more and more in your daily life. Make it feel as though it's happening right now, in this moment of this beautiful experience. You are radiating out a level of joy outward in a wave that's going to create a resonant frequency of positivity coming back to you now. And let your body and mind continue to relax, relaxing the face, your neck, all the other muscles in your body, releasing all tensions. We will tune in in this moment to the wave of fortune. The wave of good fortune brings happiness without taking your energy.
this wave in the quantum field is the same as a sea wave carrying an exhausted swimmer onto the shore. Tune in to the wave of fortune in space. Tune in to the wave of fortune that will carry you onto happy lifelines. Remember, Remember, the wave has no interest in your well-being. The wave of fortune sometimes touches your life in the form of good news. The wave of fortune brings in information from other lifelines. Tune into that right now and what comes to you. Tune in to the resonance of the information that is good from alternate lifelines in your life. Grab a hold of the rope and pull yourself on to that incredible lifeline that the information originated from. Do it now. Tune in to the fortuitous circumstances in your future. The wave of fortune does not move, increase in strength or weaken. The wave of fortune is stationary in the space of variations, existing in the form of more rewarding lifelines. Impression of the wave as you either take hold of a form or a stroke of luck, embracing the blessing and inviting it into your life. Embrace the blessing now. Don't become distracted by a pendulum that wants you to distance yourself from your wave of fortune. Tune into the wave of fortune and do not let some outside group, movement, or thought energy pull you away from this wave of fortune. The wave can pass you by and set off on its own way. That's why people believe the bluebird of happiness is hard to catch. Let the bird land in your hand. You do not have to catch it. This is not difficult. In your mind, do not make this difficult. It is a question of choice. Accept 
the wave of fortune into your life and it will stay with you. Say it now. I accept the wave of fortune into my life. Are there destructive pendulums immersing you in negative energy, distancing you from your wave of fortune? Ignore the chatter of your mind. Do not let it be controlled by negative thoughts. Fear is being used to dominate and manipulate you. Fear is being used by pendulums to pull you onto another lifeline further away from your wave of fortune. Let go of your fears. Find one simple thing and resonate joy with it and follow its wave. Say, I love my life where I'm at now. Find the joy in everything. Tune in to the wave of fortune in the space of variations. Tune in to the wave of fortune in the eternity archive. Accept your current situation. Let go of feelings of dissatisfaction and resentment. In this moment, be thankful of everything that surrounds you. Grateful and appreciative of everything that leaves you. Garbage, breath, anything, any energy that leaves you, give it joy now. I choose to respond with a positive attitude. Only take in positive energy. There is no room for negative energy. I do not put out negative energy. 
and I, and I do not take it in. Say that to yourself now. I do not take in negative energy and I do not put it out. Nothing irritates me. Everything is to my advantage. My life always works for me. You are always on a lifeline that represents the quality of your energetic vibration. Your thoughts boomerang back to you. Focus on positive things, take in positive energy, focus on the resonance frequency of positivity and watch it boomerang back to you now. I will seek out pendulums that benefit me in some way by their game. I give attention to all that is positive and good. As soon as I hear something positive and good, I stop and enjoy this inspiring and wonderful information. Hold it in my thoughts and let it lift my spirits. I look for brief moments of inspiration or joy wherever I go. I support the little flame of enthusiasm and nourish the feeling it gives me inside. I observe how life is moving in a better direction. Take hold of any straw of happiness that is offered to me and look for good signs in everything. Consciously moving towards my dream. I set the course of my own destiny. I make this feeling of positivity a habit. I constantly ride the crest of the wave of good fortune. I am so happy for all that I have in this given moment. In this lifeline, the circumstances I encounter fill my thoughts with happiness and contentment. I remember the good news. 
I close myself off to bad news and remain open to good news. I carefully nourish any positive changes in my life, for these are the messengers of the wave of fortune. As soon as I hear even slightly encouraging news, I savor it, I discuss it, and I track it. I take the news from all points of view, and I take pleasure in this good news. The vibration of my thoughts remain at the frequency of the wave of good fortune. I attune myself to the parameters of the wave of good fortune. The good news increases and life gets better every second of every day. Every failure I experience is taken as a useful lesson makes me tougher and more experienced. I find joy in all parts of this world and I transform it into paradise. I monitor my reactions. The moment I have a negative reaction, I minimize the energy and I reduce how much I radiate it outwards. I remember if I suffer a setback to the way I react, I'm aware that my reactions are important. I am conscious of the choice I have in the moment when I react. I will continually practice this technique of reacting properly. And I vibrate right now at the frequency of my wave of fortune. Right now, the wave of good fortune is accumulating favorable lifelines for me in the alternative space. The joyful energy evoked by my first stroke of luck early in the day brings a cascade of good luck. I let myself become imbued with this joyful energy radiating outwards. I am aware of the destructive pendulums 
that try to coax me away from this wave of fortune. I am free. I overcome dependence on pendulums. I win my freedom. I only accept and transmit positive energy. I create my own heaven. My thoughts always return to me like a boomerang. I'm committed to the habit of remembering my reaction is the most critical thing in the moment. The more I continue to remember, the less pendulums will throw me off my wave of fortune. One good thing leads to another, and another, and another. Follow the flow. Become aware of the template and signature of your wave of fortune in the space of variations. Knowledge comes out of nowhere to guide me in this moment. My mind and heart resonate together in coordination. to see where it takes me. I reduce projected levels of importance in my life to take away the energy I give to importance. I, re I detach and I let go to allow my energy to flow towards the intention I have. simply ride this flow following gratitude and joy. My mind interprets information accessed by the heart.
Pay attention to your inner state. Let go of the importance. This is a lot more simple than you think. Yield to the simplicity of it. Let your dreams be lucid. Allow yourself the luxury of deserving the absolute best and say this affirmation with me. I allow myself the luxury of deserving the absolute best lifeline. Create a virtual world that you want to experience not just a picture and resonate in it right now and ride your wave of fortune towards it in the space of variations in your meditation right now gather in the information that you need and open up your heart Follow the wind of intention and let your heart set sail. Access the wizard within that allows you to move towards this wave of fortune. Trust yourself. Doors open up for you. New opportunities arise. Wonderful luck you encounter and miracles are on the rise. Follow this beautiful path and find the joy within. Listen to your heart. And now that this meditation is over, it's time for you to begin. And I want you to come back to me on a countdown from 10 to 1. And once we reach 1, you're going to be fully conscious and aware. 10. Nine, feel the energy flooding into your feet and hands and arms. Eight, seven, you can feel yourself becoming more aware, waking up with your eyes open. Five, four, three, and now as you open up and are become aware, you are more awake, you're more happy, you're more joyful, and you just can't wait for the first chance you have to react to something because you're going to react with joy. Go on into this wonderful day and enjoy every moment of it and radiate joy and satisfaction to whatever comes and watch miracles happen. It's always a blessing when you join me on one of these meditations. 
And it is my heart's purpose and my intention for you to find the joy in your life, to propel you onto a wave of fortune. I wish the very best for you. All episodes of The Reality Revolution can be found at therealityrevolution.com. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Lots of new material coming out soon. Keep on the lookout for my book, The Reality Revolution, The Mind-Blowing Movement to Hack Your Reality, coming soon everywhere. It's going to be available on Audible too. I can't wait for you to read it. Contact me for coaching at the advanced success institute.com and email me at media at advanced success institute.com. Thank you and welcome to the reality revolution. <laughs>